Are you preparing for your board exams? Are your board exams coming soon? Then this video is just for you. Being a school topper in my class 10 boards and I was top 10 in India in science in my class 12 boards, I would like to share my top 5 strategies on how you can prepare for your board exams. My tips are going to be very simple and practical so you can easily apply them. And be sure to watch the entire video because I'm going to share a bonus tip at the end. Tip number one, make the board exam paper your friend. Just like you know your friends well, what they like, what they don't like. Similarly, practice previous year's question papers so that you become familiar with the board exam pattern. It's important to know what types of questions are asked, what is the weightage of marks, what is the marks distribution and all of that. So please make sure you're practicing previous year's board exam papers. Now there are a lot of books available on previous year's question papers and sample papers. Out of all those books, I would highly recommend the Oswald books because their solutions are really good and correct. They also have the toppers answers which will help you understand how to write answers well and what would a good answer look like. I'll put the links to the Oswald books in the description below so you can check it out. Lot of students practice board exam papers in the last moment, like just one week before the exam. So here's an important tip. Do it right now. Because before you're studying, you know what to expect, how to study and what is important for your board exams. Tip number two, take one day to make a timetable. Now you may be thinking, why should I waste one day? Trust me, it's going to be worth it. Now, how do you make a timetable? Very simple. First check how many subjects you have. Let's say you have English, Hindi, Maths, Science, Social Science and Computers. So that's six subjects. So you can put one subject for each day. And then the extra day, which is Sunday, you can keep for the most difficult subject. Let's say it's maths or because maybe the syllabus is very big. So you reserve the Sunday, an extra day for the subject you have the most to study. Now, because you're studying one different subject per day, you won't get bored. It's going to be a focus day for that subject. Now look at the number of chapters in each subject and the number of days you have. So you'll know how many chapters you need to complete in one day because it's very important to keep a target. A target will help you achieve it. So remember, plan and make a timetable. Tip number three, complete the incomplete. I'm sure you have chapters remaining that you haven't completed or not done so well. Be sure to complete these chapters first because once you're done, you'll feel more confident and relaxed that the syllabus is finally over. So don't leave the scary topics till the end. And to help you revise any topic or clear your concepts, do check out the full courses on our website, manuchaacademy.com. I'll put the links in the description below. We have videos on all topics, quizzes, questions and mock tests for you to practice. And you can ask doubts. And the best part, we have big discounts going on on our courses. So do check out our website, manochaacademy.com. Tip number four. Don't believe the rumors. There are always rumors like this topic is sure to come in this exam or this came last year. So this topic won't come. These are just rumors. Don't believe them. Study all the chapters and all the topics. Don't leave out anything. And now during this COVID times, there are rumors that exams could get further postponed. My advice for these type of rumors is take it in through one year and take it out of the other year because these things are not in our control. So better not to waste time with them. Don't be distracted from your goal. And what's your goal? To give your best preparation for your board exams. So my suggestion, don't believe these rumors. Tip number five, the 55 plus five formula. Study for 55 minutes and then take a power break for five minutes. Do this every hour that you're studying. 55 minutes, be focused and study with full energy and then 
relax for five minutes. You can drink water, get up from your chair, walk around in the house or listen to your favorite song. Just one song and then get back to studies. A five minute break does not mean check WhatsApp or watch television because that five minute break is going to turn out to be a one hour long break which you don't want. So use this 55 plus 5 minute formula to study efficiently and with full energy and make this a habit. And now for our bonus tip which is compete with yourself. Don't worry about getting full marks in your exam. Don't think about beating your friends. Compete with yourself. This is something I've always followed and believed in. Because true satisfaction is knowing that you gave your best and only you know that. So compete just with yourself and give it your best shot. So here's a quick recap of the tips that we discussed. Tip number one, make the board exam paper your friend. I've put a link to the Oswald books below where you can get books on previous year's solve question papers. Tip number two, take one day to make a timetable. That will be your most useful day. Tip number three, complete the incomplete. Complete the remaining portions of your syllabus and do check out the full courses on our website. The links are given below. Tip number four, don't believe the rumors. They will just distract you from your goal. Tip number five, use the 55 plus five formula. Every hour, study with full energy for 55 minutes and then take a five minutes break. And finally, our bonus tip, compete with yourself and go give it your best shot. I hope you found these tips useful. Do let me know what was your favorite tip by putting it in the comments below. Wishing you all the very best for your board exams. I'm sure you'll do well. Keep the momentum going and keep studying. And if you like this video, do hit the subscribe button for our channel right now and do share this video with your friends. And do check out the full courses for physics, chemistry, maths and computers on our website manochaacademy.com. I'll put the links below. Thanks for watching and subscribing.